for the latest in strategic affairs subscribe to our youtube channel click the bell icon for updates samuel uh, good to see you again and welcome thank you thank you uh, samuel what is the situation now we are getting a lot of reports that uh, the tigrayan rebels are uh, about few hours drive from addis ababa what is the situation on the ground well it's it's very hard to know uh, there are many uh, information misinformation that's coming our way um, cnn had reported they are in the suburbs uh, last week that was proven to be wrong um, and it's really hard to know but um, you know there are two versions of the same story the ethiopian government insists they are somewhere in dese and kombolsha fighting uh, the ethiopian government uh but the other side is claiming that they are advancing to the capital so it's always who you listen to it's uh, it's one of those conflicts where we can't um, we can't seem to verify many of the information we are receiving but we are taking um care to because all the information we're saying we're telling the public is having an effect and we're being careful mm-hmm. but your president is been saying that uh, be prepared to defend the capital Uh, telling people to arm themselves uh, that does suggest an element of uh, uh, maybe uh, you know uh, they preparing defensive sure. measures sure it was the uh, local government at this our government that said you should uh, register your weapons uh, and you should defend yourself uh, when and if the tplf comes to town the tplf has been declared as a terrorist organization by ethiopia and that's why they're claiming that uh, if they do come they might do so much harm to the population but um the prime minister you meant uh, the prime minister has also said ethiopia is willing to go a distance um and um, even use all we all the nation can have including he said quote unquote our bones and blood to defend the interest of ethiopia and the foundation of the country that's very dramatic uh, samuel but i just find it a little odd you know i mean 3 months ago the ethiopian military was in full control of tigray and then suddenly within a space of a few months the entire fortunes had reversed what happened um we don't know but again there has been an allegation made by mainstream ethiopia including some element of the government saying uh the united states and some of the un agencies the leadership are siding with the TPLF the UN has been accused of providing weapons and that's why seven of their most leader um, senior leadership were removed from the country uh, a few weeks ago um, but again it's something that has um, really surprised all of us um, and as she said the Ethiopian side was in control but you also have to know the Ethiopian side said they left Tigray on their will to help farmers give the farmers the space to farm um and uh try to slow down at the famine that everybody is talking about in the Tigray region but the conflict has so far gone to afar and in amhara regions um affecting again many many too many people uh, as a result of it 